Hey guys, Lord Sora here. I am quite excited to display this new build idea I have been thinking about, the Unmaker. This build is utilizing the new ultimate Soul Rift with the new unique helmet, the Unmaker. It is the third day of PTR and we have access to the new gear, so immediately wanted to work on this build and get it out into the wild. It is still quite fresh and probably there is a lot more room for improvement considering the gear is also quite mid but currently was able to do tiers 85 and I believe it should be able to push tier 90 plus with really good gear and disclaimer if you are not aware in season 6 the highest tier will be 100 so no longer 200 so tier 85 is actually a lot more higher than you may think I am aware that this build will not be able to compete with most meta builds as far as the end game pushing. However, I do believe it is literally the coolest looking animation and build as well as being super fun. This will be one of the builds I'm going to take very seriously in season 6 and try to min max as much as possible. Initially, when the new ultimate soul rift was data mined, this thing had over 1000% base weapon damage. And I was actually super stoked that this was going to be our best build in Season 4. However, PTR came around and data mined value turned out to be wrong. And it has around 100% base weapon damage. Obviously, this is a huge difference. Causes this build from potentially being the best build, the sort of uh, niche off-meta build going into Season 6. Maybe that changes, maybe it doesn't, but but so far it's not going to be doing that much damage as far as what we see from the PTR. But this was not going to stop me from trying what I believe to be one of the coolest looking builds to play in Season 6. Before diving into the build details, shout out to Macrobioboy K from Goblin Inc. Because I have been talking about this build with them and their ideas and insights helped me greatly to properly build this thing. Alrighty, so how does this build function? This build solely relies on the Unmaker's new unique helmet to do its damage. When we read the first part, we understand that the more essence we spend, the more we increase our ultimate soul rift duration. The second part tells us as we generate 30 essence, this helmet takes the shadow damage we are doing in that given second and doubles it and procs it as an additional damage. So every 30 essence we generate, we are able to have another double damage instance in addition to the damage over time our Soul Rift Ultimate is doing. There is one caveat here that I quickly tested. Unfortunately, Essence Regen does not count if your essence is already full and if you have no spender. So you have to spend essence and then regenerate. And the quickest way and the best way for us to spend essence is Bone Spirit. Luckily, Bone Spirit is also one of the most efficient ways for us to regenerate essence, mainly due to this shattering spirit aspect. Each time we cast the Bone Spirit, 18 splinters projectiles in each direction and each enemy hit regenerating 6 essence, potentially regenerating over 100 essence. In addition to that, we can imprint Macabre uh, skills restore essence on our gear to even regenerate more essence. It is possible with enough attack speed that we can regenerate close to 400 essence per second, procking the helmet about 10 times per second if not more. Which even the Soul Rift doesn't do that much damage as it is currently, however when you proc it so often multiple times per second, it can get pretty high and the DPS can go up. Obviously, it won't reach the Blood Wave or Bone Spirit or even Ebon Piercer most likely. But it will still be a decent build to play in Season 6. At least it will be quite fun for me. You may ask, but Bone Spirit is based around crit damage and crit chance and Soul Rift and the Unmaker Helmet is based around Shadow Damage over time. How do we combine the two and scale? Well, in this build, we are really not trying to build into Bone Spirit's damage as we purely try to scale our shadow damage from Soul Rift and the Unmaker procs. And one cool thing is that Unmaker procs can actually crit, so as we build towards crit cap and crit damage, it also benefits our Unmaker damage. I'm also aware 
that Unmaker can snapshot over power. However, I am yet to find a way to rely on that in an actual end game, like a dungeon or pit pushing setting. It is quite tricky to proc and keep it, keep it active. Um, if we can find a way to do that, actually this thing can get cracked because then we can put Blood Moon Breaches, we can get the Blood Bath Legendary Node to scale our overpower damage even more. It can do billions of damage per second uh, DPS, but um, so far I'm I'm still looking, but so far I couldn't find a way to rely, rely on it uh, consistently in the pit pushing setting. The way Unmaker work is that the, as the Soul Rift does more shadow damage over time, it also scales the Unmaker damage even more. So we are actually sort of scaling as much shadow damage as possible while also dipping into crit critical strike damage bucket. The more our dot snapshots the sh shadow damage in the moment, it scales our Unmaker crit and procs even higher. In order to do this, for example, we are sacrificing Reapers to get even more shadow damage and we have also sacrificial aspect. We are also using aspect of the damned and slot this on our two-hander to e for an even bigger damage multiplier. You can either use Greatsword here or a two-hander axe. I think both viable options. However, axe is probably a better option since it's a slower weapon with a higher weapon uh, base weapon damage as well as higher additive implicit. This build also benefits from Wither Legendary Node as the Soul Rift proc Wither. The higher that dot tick is snapshotted by the Unmaker Helm, it proceeds as a higher damage, it procs as a higher damage, so it definitely adds another big multiplier to our build. Along the same lines, we're also taking Darkness and Scourge Glyphs to boost our shadow damage further, which boosts our Soul Rift damage and then also boosting the proc damage of the Unmaker. In order for this build to function, there are some key breakpoints we really need to hit. The most important one is reaching 100% creep cap, mainly because we want to be able to reset bone spirit cooldown instantly so we can keep spamming. Along the same lines, another breakpoint we need to hit is that having bone spirit cooldown needs to be at 7%. So again, as we crit with bone spirit, it reduces the cooldown by 7 seconds and if we can get our bone spirit cooldown to 7 we can just spam bone spirit without any interference in order to bone spirit to get to 7 seconds you need 1 CDR and double credit bone spirit CDR tempering on your amulet this should get you right about 7 seconds on your bone spirit as you crit it will reset its cooldown immediately I think this covers some of the most important aspects of this build and how it functions. I will be leaving a build planner link down below in the description and I will update you guys as I make changes. Hopefully we will be able to bake more damage into this build helping us push higher of an endgame content. I'm still missing a lot of good gear especially my Unmaker helmet is not that great. If I could have actually uh, 800 item power Ancestral Unmaker helmet here with the GA Soul Rift ranks I could probably masterwork that to 12 and probably dish out a bit more damage because those ranks might help mit me with cooldown as well as more damage uh, to my ultimate. Overall Soul Rift is an amazing ultimate however I do have one complaint slash feedback to devs from this PTR or even previous seasons I don't know maybe it's me but I do prefer my ultimate abilities to do massive damage and actually be utilized in builds as more like a main damage dealer not just the utility. Soul Rift will make its way into many builds however it will not be a main damage source and it will just be used as an utility. It will be used as an essence regeneration, it will be used as vulnerability, it will be used as barrier regeneration. This idea honestly does not really fit with my playstyle and maybe that's okay, maybe that's just me and maybe that serves many builds in a better way, in a different way. However, to me, ultimate ability should delete screens and do massive AoE damage and cool animations and all that stuff. So I hope we see this shift as we move forward in this game, which I think we might since like we saw some really good buffs to add it to the blood wave. 
and now ultimate abilities can also gain ranks and so on so i hope devs take another look into this ultimate and sort of buff its damage otherwise it's going to be really hard to use this outside of utility purposes anyhow i hope this video was good let me know if you have any thoughts feedback and criticism i'm going to continuously try to improve this build so if you have any ideas would love to hear them as well i'm going really hard on this ptr and trying to push as much content as possible while also doing tons of testing for max roll so your support will mean a lot to me if you enjoy the content and want to stay in touch for upcoming videos hit that subscribe button thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next video cheers